Welcome back, it's time for Truck Stop on Operation Blind Serpent. Uh, we're taking a squad back in, quite similar to the squad we took on that recent Roadway Moderate. Uh, once again, we're bringing in uh, Kroll and Dobin, uh, bringing them in for some uh, on-the-job training. Probably should have taken a Neuroregulator on one of them, uh, really, instead of the extra scope or the extra medkits. Uh, regardless, we're going to go in on this Moderate, take advantage of the fact that the contact should be limited in number. But of course, contact can always be very strong, even if there's only one or two of them. So we'll have to keep our eyes open and not get too cocky on Operation Blind Serpent. Let's get down there and let's see what's happening. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. And first of all, it's your close near urban. You're either going to hit no contact, or you're going to hit all the contact at once in these little sectioned areas. You've got like the truck dividing your line of sight here. It's two different maps. You know, this is one map, this is another map because of the way the line of sight kind of breaks off unless you're fighting between these two areas. So I feel like, you know, we're either going to hit a lot of contact here or we're going to hit a lot of contact here. But either way, you know, it's going to be close range fighting, which is great for the. Um, it's freaking great for Wolfa and it's great for the Archer as well. So it's great for both of them. And it's a good thing that I bring the LMG. The uh, source should be good on Zim. Uh, I think we're going to straddle a line. We've got a Mel Canister on the right, Mel Canister on the left. So we've got one right here on the right side of the uh, convenience store itself, the Conveni. And on the left side next to the pumps, far side of the left pumps, we're going to have a Mel Canister. I want to grab these two if possible. It's probably going to be uh, your squishy little fun, fun soldiers over here going on the right through the building, taking that Mel Canister. Mechs on the left. Slightly extending. If you can grab that mail without activating too much nasty contact, grab it. If you overextend, you hit too much contact, we fall back and we hold the shop. That's the idea. Reach our palms out. Try to take as much money as we can home. Uh, if you can't, pull back in and just protect one of them. Uh, and that's a general idea. Scout up front. Let's go for a run. And Nej. Contact so far. Affirmative, Commander. Look sharp. There's your contact. Ooh, sector pod. And I will always love you. I will okay, sorry for my total silence there as I try to count. So it looked like we had at least four drones, that's for sure. Got one sector pod. One, two, three, four. My desk is usually messy, but today it's even messier because my mom dropped off like a bag of micro machines. So I have like 300 different micro machines. I'm using like a little tank to be the sector pod as my token right now. We got a, I guess it gives me more tokens to use. We got four drones and I'm sure I saw one seeker, possibly two. I don't know, I'll lay it on its side. I'll try to remember that, so possible two. Um, so the sector pod is behind the sign. Uh, and that makes it a little bit easier for us because the sector pod being behind the sign means it can't overwatch shoot wolf for right now anyway. So the overwatch is uh, kind of meaningless. Uh, now, if I set this up right, I should be totally golden here. Because if I come around the left here, um, you shouldn't be able to see J-Vals. Because there's going to be a van in the way. Alright. J-Vals should then be able to mine the sector pod. And this is, once again, like the first time we fought a sector pod. Once again, the really sad thing about sector pods seems to be that they just don't seem to be able to drop down elevation-wise. I don't think they were built to ever be... Sp like, you, you've got to ask how the aliens got it up this sign in the first place, really. Because it's it's just not going to work out for this sector pod, I don't think. Um, so I just want to start mining that sector pod, essentially. Uh, if I can get a mine to stick here, I need to see if that's going where I want it to. Yeah, okay, that's going where I want it to. Okay, that's totally the least trustworthy mine I've ever seen, but... I mean, he tells me he can do it, so let's see. That's Lady talent. Mind. That is true talent. I don't care what you say, that is... That's amazing. I don't know how he bounced a sticky limpet mine. That doesn't make any sense. Um, but anyway, hit and run. Hit and disappoint me. Alright, but we do have to watch with Wolfer because he hasn't got a van to cover him. Uh, so we might want to be careful that if it comes around this corner, it's not going to see him. It shouldn't, but uh, I want to stay underneath this awning to make sure. I think if I stay underneath the awning, it definitely won't get a shot on me. So we'll move again uh, this turn. Uh, even j are probably getting more behind the van next turn, just in case there's buggy line of sight. Um, we'll probably want to get Hawk units. Oh, Hawk unit can shoot that right now, though. Um, we'll, pro we'll probably want to get him ready 
for the sectopod. Let's do this. If and when it shows up. And we've got to go ready for all the little mechanized fun funzos that are about to hit me. For example, let's get Zim over it. here. Uh, if I could get... Hmm, probably not squint to the interior, actually. Uh, probably not Stolly Iva, funnily enough. No, I mean, actually, I mean, yes, probably Stolly. Let's get Stolly to the interior. If we play this right and we abuse the Sectopod properly, we won't need Stolly's heat grenades, so we can send her in. Probably stick Dobin back here as well. That's affirmative. Dobin probably would have been a good one to send as well, but at least Stolly might be able to grenade herself out of trouble if she gets in there. But we'll probably end up sending Dobin anyway. Uh, the point is I'm trying to grab that metal canister before it expires because we're obviously going to get locked into a nasty little fight here. Uh, and then finally... Gee, what do I want to do? Good to go. We'll just get instinct ready over here. Let him overwatch with a pistol. I feel He's nice and tanky. Um, Squint, probably just get ready to Either. throw a battle scanner, but we can't let it get flanked right now. High behind commander. this thing. And you're golden. Yeah, uh, watch yourself. Let's see what happens. Alright, so that's not even the person I wanted to shoot with the laser pistol, but... Alright, Zim, if you hit this, that'd be better. Hey! See, that's a result. That's a result right there. Okay, so we're down one drone. Here comes more. They're pooling. Oh, yes, please, and thank you. Okay, now we will want that scan up soon, of course, to walk. Oh, what? What? Wow, that sector pod's a dick. That seeker was just trying to hide behind the gas pump, and I think the sector pod just blew it up. What a dick. Uh, it sounds like we've got, like, berserkers over on the left there. Yeah. Um... <laughs> We just saw the Seeker kind of brush the dirt off its shoulders like, I fucking hate Bob. And just stealth again, so we know he's around here somewhere. Um, oh shoot, did I finish close combat punch specialist? Because if I did, I get a free punch. But if I didn't, I don't. Um, wait, I need, this is so important, hang on. Uh, 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 oh fuck it, just do it. Getting in close. It's too cool not to do it. Yes! I did finish Close Combat Specialist for the punches. Great. Um, <laughs> it's too cool. It's too cool not to do it. I need to throw a scan out. Um, I need to throw a pair of scans out, really, because I need to find the Seeker for one. Uh, but I also need to get a scan up there to actually reveal uh, the Sectopod. Uh, I need a bit of both. Um, why don't we just check a scan out, like, on top of this van? I doubt it'll do both for me at once, but I just need to find the Seeker first. Where are you at, Seeker? Okay, we don't know where the Seeker is at, so that's not really ideal. So he's traveled further than I thought he would, probably going for Hawk unit already at this point, so I'm going to have to use Instinct to bodyguard him. Um, regardless, Hawk unit has a job to do. How much health does that have? You should be able to kill that. If you can hit it. Which target. is not a foregone conclusion, and why would you expect it to be one? Moving out. Okay, we'll get behind better cover. And we'll do more Harlem Globetrotter mines up here. If I can again trust in them. Yeah, hang on, hang on. There, there it is. That once again looks amazing. Absolutely beautiful. 10 line. out of 10. Can't be beat. Okay, now we're just gonna have to hold here. Eyes peeled, Commander. Um, I need to murder you. Good. X-ray ausgeschaltet. So we're down you. Uh, how many is that? That's one punched, one rapid fired. I think two drones remaining, is that? I'm not sure. Uh, Instinct needs to come back and guard Hawk unit. Just in case. Stepping off. Dobin needs to fall back. Aye, aye, Commander. For similar reasons. Roger. I've got my uh, and then Stolly probably shouldn't open this door because we don't know where that fucking secret is. So hold on. Hold off on, on the door for this turn. 
No, that's bullshit. Nah, that's bullshit. Nah, that's bullshit. Nah. Nah, that's bullshit. No. Oh, God. Fuck. Okay, Hawk unit's getting bombed. Seeker's, Seeker's flanking. Fuck you, fuck you. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Ah, oh, balls. Squint, watch out. You're looking juicy right now. Oh, good, it's gone for Zim. Zim doesn't give a shit. Okay. So it... Yeah, Zim really doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I started thinking, like, you know what, Beagle? That's a lot of damage. Nah, Zim doesn't give a shit. Uh, so... What the hell? Zim really doesn't give a shit. Anyway, um... So, hello, Mr. Seeker. If there's two of you, I won't be very happy. Um, but regardless, we've had more things to worry about right now. Like, for example, the sector border either can jump off things, or it's just because it was in the line of sight, uh, no man's land zone, that it just teleported off, which... Uh, is also why the mines didn't go off, by the way, in case you were wondering. In case you were keeping score at home. Um, mines do not go off. I, I'm sure I've said this before, but mines do not go off. Um, if you don't have line of sight on the mine when something walks over it. Mine. It's pretty bullshit, but that's just how mines work. I thought it'd be trapped up there. I was uh, dead wrong, unfortunately. Uh, now I need to kill this thing. Stoli, would you kindly? Uh, actually, Stoli might have to kill the sector pod, so hold on. Maybe Squint can do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, Instinct can do it. Okay, so we'll bring Instinct over. Solid copy. Hello, little Seeker. Hello, little Seeker. No longer a threat. You are dead as fucking doornails. We are going to check the perks on the Sector Pod. The perks are not frightening, we merely need to kill it um, before it does anything bad. So, I don't believe I have brought any Shredder, which is unfortunate. But if I take its damage, uh, health down a bit, we can of course score uh, Executioner bullshit on it. Although I may not even need to. I need to apply some holo targeting to it, which is why I didn't use Squint. Squint, 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 let's do this. Um, if you, if you may. I'm gonna play the holo targeting. Yep. Okay, we're gonna apply the... Rapid fire fuck you targeting. Ooh. That's a bit of a bitch when you're fighting something that tough. We're gonna need that grenade now, I think. If we can still get it. I hope we can. Not fun when your 90% misses when it does that much damage. Can't get the grenade over there. Now we're running into trouble. Now we are running into trouble. Because now I can't set that grenade off. And setting that grenade off... I mean, that mine off was quite important in my overall strategy. No, I just... Well, I just might be able to. And it's... It's kind of worth taking the just might be able to here. Because if I just maybe set that mine off, it's very different turn to the I didn't set that mine off. So let's take the just maybe, just in case. Ooh, yeah. It would help a lot. Thank you. See, life is so much easier right now. Life just got so much easier. He's down. Lot of firepower over here. Balls and bayonets. All right, set the pods down. To a great flurry of explosions. Everything's blowing up right now. The Seeker is down. There could be another Seeker out there. And I'm pretty sure, wasn't there two drones I didn't just kill? I think, I think we've still got two drones to deal with. I got Paramedic on Udobin, which is good. That's going to be real effective right okay. now. Because we need to start healing up uh, old Zimmy. This? Oh, it's going to hurt. Yeah, go ahead and cover yourself again. I'm on the move. Eyes on the prize. New position confirmed. Why don't you just... Moving out. I'm pretty sure there's drones up here. No, what the hell happened to the drones? Did I kill them? Am I really bad? Am I that bad at counting? Scanning. I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it. I 
What the hell happened to those drones? Okay, we killed one. We punched one. Was there not four drones? Am I just that bad? That's one wreckage as far as I can tell. I don't know, life's really confusing. I, I'm one of those people who, you know, you go, you know, he's a nice guy, but I don't know how he gets out of bed without killing himself in the morning. You know, you can, and you can see that right here. I'm on it, Commander. Oh, hello, Mel. Hello. I want you. What's making that noise? I want you, Meld. I want you, Meld. Hunt him down. On my way. Got the goods. That's really good cover to take if you don't know what's out there. You've got. You don't see that very often. You very rarely. Thank you, randomized Meld canister. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that before. Is there? Is there cover like that? Where? Let, let's find out on this map. Is there cover where you're protected from both sides at once like that? Not corner cover, it's better than corner cover. Everything else has got two spaces between it. I'm not sure if I've ever experienced that in the game before. I'm, I'm sure I have, it's not that rare, but... Did they not do that as a rule? For is like, don't ever leave only one tile between colors because it makes it too easy? I don't know, I can't find it on the rest of this map. That's very interesting. I've always dreamed about it too, I've always wondered. Like, you never see cover where it's... Both sides are protected, do you? It's like, no, you don't. Anyway... <laughs> I'm going for that meld as well. Position confirmed. Alien material. Probably about to run into some mutons. Oh, it wants me to go deeper. It wants me to go deeper to get that extra movement. If I move one, two, three tiles closer, or even just laterally, I can grab it. Because that's one, two, three. So I go over here. I sh 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 should be able to grab it. I'm on it, Commander. Should be. So we've got proximity mines up on the sign now, which is great if the mutons airdrop. That's going to be fantastic. Until then, I think I'm just going to uh, try and protect my edges here. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've got a sneeze coming on. I think I'll just protect my edges here for the uh, mutons that might be about to show up. Once again, moderate missions. Oh, shoot that mine through the van cab. You're a masterwork. Once again, Seven mines, moderate mission. Just start spraying them everywhere. You know what? Headed there now. It's always the right choice. Just start spraying. Don't move. You'll be fine. Right, we need to get out there. I've got to keep my guys on Overwatch just in case we've got another seeker out here. But I might have just been terrible at counting. I think. Ich mach mich los. Terrible at counting, am I? I'm rolling. On the move. But uh, I don't know. Let's rock. Got it covered. Stay in and watch just in case. Quiet. Did you hear something? Uh. I think I just blew a drone up. Okay, so maybe I'm not that bad at counting. There goes one of them. Apparently, they just sailed off. Helpfully, it took out the ones up on the high ground as well through blast damage, so I don't have to feel embarrassed anymore. Grab that sweet, sweet goodness. Mm. Has been secured. And now I can dash up and grab another one. Mm, mm, mm. Headed there now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, a little little glimpse, a little slip in the slip between the calves there. What have we got? Two mutons, two greens, and three browns, three floaters. Oh, that is such a pathetic looking pod. There's gotta be more out there, it has to be bait. I don't know, maybe it's not bait. Maybe this is real. Moving out. Maybe this is real life. No, it's gotta be bait. It's gotta be bait. That can't be real. But it could be. But it can't, it can't be. But it could be. It could be bait. No, it can't. No, yeah. this. Defensive no, I, 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 that pod is too pathetic. This can't be the mission. Laying mines. This is the warm up pod. There's a real pod out there somewhere, and I'm gonna find it. You bet your bottom dollar. I will find it. Okay. Ben on Tavix. Moving. Let's do this. Pipes, okay. Come on, Roger. I've got my eyes on. Getting a lot of meld on this mission, at least. Keep your eyes peeled for that potential seeker, seeing as my counting wasn't as bad as I thought it was originally. Oh, they're getting ornery. There's three mutons. He was hiding off of his buddies. And by his buddies, I mean by himself. Oh, stop sending off my mines! I put that there for a reason! I 
Gotta have that meld. But I think I'm gonna activate if I try to grab that meld right now. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do mine wise. Oh, 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 no, no, not liking it, not liking it. No, not at all liking it. It's a poor mine, it's a poor excuse for a mine. Oh, 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 no, no, that only works if I get the mine first. Fuck it, give me the mill. Moving to position. Give it to me. Here they come. You know what? It's it's one thing to sit here and talk shit about this pod like it's pathetic. It's another thing to be too scared of it to grab meld, so... Targeted canister secure. Fuck you, pod. I'm taking your treats and I'm getting out. And for another Incoming goddamn time, here. I will put the damn proximity mine in this choke. I swear to G's. I swear to the big man G's. One more time I'll put this here. Launching proximity mine. Okay, now we gotta watch out because the floaters can come over the cab and they can mess with my man the archer here. So what I'll probably do here is, uh... Oh, well, hell. I mean, why not, really? Hang on. Why take a 73% chance that could disappoint me when I can just set him on fire? It's a moderate. Fuck it. Set the meld on fire. It loves it. So that float is dead. And that's really what sucks about being an alien. If your corpse isn't worth shit to XCOM, you're just gonna get blown up or burnt. You're only gonna get a nice death if they want to keep your body intact, and that really just sucks. It just really sucks to be you. I mean, you're gonna die either way, that's my job, but, you know, it, it could suck less for you. But not the way I do it. Hello, Mooton. Yes, let's get in position. Solid copy, Commander. On the move. Oh, I know you can see him. You just can't on shoot him yet. Don't worry, I'm I'm on top of this. I know what you can do. I feel, Commander. I've got my eyes on. You just watch out for that seeker that may or may not be a figure in my imagination. Okay, they've run off. Oh no. Oh, this is just terrible for them. Hang on. There now. Hang on, I gotta do something. Oh no! Look at this poor man! Fuck! I'm the poor man, it's me! Nah, just kidding, watch this, hang on. I don't need muton bodies. Watch this, hold on. Hold on a second. We're gonna handle this. Old style. That's affirmative. Now you know what? I follow a lot of I follow a lot of online discussion. A lot of like, you know, reddits and, and 4chans and that kind of thing. A lot of online forums. Let me get this mine in position here. There, there was a point to that. Hang on, I'm trying to get my mine in position. My point's been ruined because the mine's not going to get in position. Oh, 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 oh. No, I'm going to hit myself if I do that. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, that was a great point too. Hang on. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. Fuck you all. Yeah, just put it right there. Got him. Placing proximity mine. All right, and then we're just gonna go for a little bit of the old alley oop here. Gonna put that up there. Okay, and we're just gonna hit flame. Engaging hostile. Engage the flambe fire. mode. Ooh, now that didn't do anything I wanted. Well, I was gonna tell ya. I was gonna tell you about how, you know, a lot of people talk about, you know, they, they bronze man and they reload the game when bullshit happens. And I was gonna say, you know, my counter for bullshit is just throw proximity mines and fire at it. But the damn thing is, now more bullshit's happened, so... Really, it's just totally invalidated my entire point, so keep on saves coming. Go ahead. Beagle gives you permission. He'll never do it himself, but he'll give you permission for it for your own games. Um, sorry, if that mine had actually killed them like I wanted to do. If the flame had actually done damage, uh, maybe saves coming wouldn't be okay. Um, check in with me again with tomorrow. I'll tell you if it's okay tomorrow. They gave me your position. Probably won't be okay tomorrow. This is like a one day thing. Just saves come today. We'll call it national saves coming day. Do not do this anymore after today. It's a one day thing. Don't keep doing it. It's just for national. That fucking flamethrower didn't do anything day. No, flamethrower can be a bit dicky of elevation. 
Uh, unfortunately, it's not very reliable too, so sometimes I think I can get away with it, sometimes I can't. I want to get a battle scanner over here. They're just not very good at firing things over trucks, these soldiers. I want to get a battle scanner over so I can see them all. I mean, the mine did at least do a lot of damage to everything behind the truck. I just don't really care about them right now, so it doesn't matter. Let's get Stoli in position. I'm on the move. I think that Seeker does not exist at this point. I'm going to make a call. The Seeker does not exist. Got it. Move it. That's affirmative. I hope it's the right call. Yeah, I'll fake Boston. Eh. Uh, yeah. Oh god, just explosions everywhere. All right. Systems within acceptable parameters. Yep, fuck you. You're all going to get it. You're all going to fucking get it. As soon as this archer can actually fire a mine at you, you're all gonna get it. Oh, that's, fire at my position. that's just sad. You just hate to see that in the sport. Oh, that's just... Under fire. It just breaks your heart to see that happen in this sport we love. Not really. Fuck aliens. Armor intact. Have I even got absorption fields yet? I don't think I even have. Do I? Why is she a gunnery sergeant still? Would you believe it, Bob? He hasn't even got absorption fields, and that's really... That's really the most maniacal part of all of it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over here. On my way. Alright. And this part of my strategy is perhaps key. When life shits in your lemons, just kill aliens. Uh, and this is really the most important part. You just have to keep killing aliens. And you need to Getting never stop. Close. There you go. Blow up a truck if it makes you feel better. You just gotta do what you've gotta do to feel better about yourself. And that's really that's really the secret of life, isn't it? Moving. I'm gonna go in here with the archer. Close quarters, proximity mining, tactical espionage action. I'm just gonna stick that right there. Deploying mine to that position. The rat runs away. The rat is very clever. The rat realizes that the mine is going to explode. The rat actually is now confirmed for smarter than the civilians in terror missions. Uh, and that's just a sad day when you've got to say that, really. I'm going to take a shot with Squint. Squint cares not. We're down to one one left. Uh, and it's time to care even less, I think. Can I get a grenade through this slot? Oh, yes. Stolly is very good at fitting things through slots. Do not worry, this is done and dusted. Slot machine at Stolly, fantastic. That's hilarious, that is. He's very upset. Alright. Oh, that's even better, okay. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Everything by the numbers. And the other floater just killed itself. So there you go, that's Operation Blind Serpent. Nice and simple. I think um, the most important statistic everyone wants to know, uh, out of all the mines fired, I think maybe two, perhaps three of them, if you count that last one, actually uh, did what I wanted them to do. Um, a lot of my mines casualties to exploding trucks, and really in the late game and long war, that's what you've got to watch out for. Uh, and I'll try to do better in the future. Our missions go as well as this one did. The aliens don't stand a chance. If all our missions go as well as that one did, we can just start a comedy series, Bradford, and sell it to HBO. We'll call it America's Funniest Home Abductions, and it'll just be proximity mines wall to wall for 24-7. Put it on YouTube, actually. You get a following, narrate it, commentate it, cut it up, edit it, make it into like little 10-50 minute episodes. Bradford, we could have a real winner going. Call it Superhuman Impossible. Um, so we've got floater corpses down. Muton Corpse is down. Not many of them because we blew up a lot of them. <laughs> Sector Bud Wreck is in, no, that's good. We got the alloys for it. That's all good. We will be in touch, Commander. Right, so at this point, the extra alloys we just got, probably gonna go ahead and build myself a little bit of the old alloy belt. Build me one of them. We've got the satellites coming, we've got skeleton key coming. I can't remember what else I had to build because it's been a week, but I'm sure I've got everything done because I just did an abduction. So that means Oh fuck me! Alright. What's this? We've got a low radar. I got a 14 hour smoky porter on the way back in, but I think Judge Call could maybe take this out with a balanced pass. 
Let's have a try. Let's have a go at it. Engaging bogey. Let's have a bit of a shoot. You know? Let's have a bit of a go. Nearing strike range. They're all over us! Fucking hell. Got him. Didn't want to use those dodge modules, uh, actually. Want to save those for the, uh, the Overseer, because the Overseer is my new boogeyman. But I decided I already committed enough. I'm going to ever intercept this to go. What the hell? Let's expend one. We'll get those two Cyber Disrects somewhere else. Uh, but there you go. I mean, we could have even got a mission for it, which would have been nice for alloys, which we desperately need right now. But we didn't get a mission from it. We just got some money. But money's always good. And, you know, it's also the thing that we kill aliens and stop them from doing some nefarious plot, which is always fantastic. At least in my opinion. I like that. Alright, so we're up 261 credits. Was I building anything? Do I need another satellite uplink? I'm pretty sure I gotta wait till I can get a nexus, don't I? Yep, 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 yep. Gotta wait till I can get a nexus here. So we're gonna have to chill out on that plane. Alright, just keep on going, just keep on going. Excuse me. No, you've got power. Yeah, just keep on going, just keep on going. Oh, crikey! Oh, crikey, kook. Kooky crike. What the hell? Sir! Internal systems are shutting down all over HQ! This is Central. Security status red. Repeat. Done! Answer me! Sir! We're picking up movement near the outer perimeter! Multiple sensors have been tripped! We have a breach! Oh, well, we're going to be much fucking longer with that, dude. 